Today we're going to compare two different types of sine wave transformer type inverters. This inverter is a 6000 watt high power inverter. This is a 3000 watt uh, opposition inverter. Uh, it's got a transformer in it as well. But what we want to do is actually compare the total harmonic distortion initially and, and then discuss the, the different benefits of each type of, trend, type of inverter. So at the moment we're looking at the output voltage of the, of the two different types of inverter and even at the moment if you notice the, at the top of the waveform there it's flat So even at no load, this inverter over here is already got some total harmonic distortion. Now total harmonic distortion is very important. It is a measure of how much power you're capable of pulling out of the of real power that you'll be able to pull out of the out of the inverter at the fundamental frequency of 50 Hz. As the total harmonic distortion goes up, so less and less of the fundamental frequency can be pulled out of the, out of the inverter. So what I'm going to do now is increase the, the, the power coming out of that inverter. You notice the total harmonic distortion or the waveform is flattening. Now we'll put, put more power on this one. You'll notice that there's no flattening of the waveform. Put more power out of this one. You'll notice that this waveform here stays sinusoidal. This one is totally distorted. High powered inverter. Just the wave. It has the smooth, perfectly sinusoidal waveform. The opposition unit, which is over there, has this large distorted waveform with a large amount of total harmonic distortion. In terms of efficiency, at the moment, how much power have we got coming out of this inverter? About 1,200 watts. So we're about 45%. How much power is coming out of this inverter? About 2,700 watts. So this is about, 50, about 45% as well. They've both got about 45% power coming out of it, but the, but the voltage distortion of the two inverters is fundamentally different. This will deliver sinusoidal waveform with minimal total harmonic distortion, which means that you'll get all the power that's coming out of the trend, out of the inverter is being used at the fundamental frequency. This blue unit here, the high powered unit, can be fitted with an MPPT regulator, which is a solar charger. This unit doesn't have that facility. This unit here also has voltage regulation. So in other words, as the input power, as the input voltage changes or as the output power changes, the voltage is automatically regulated. This one doesn't have that facility. In other words, the voltage will change. The, efficiency, the real efficiency of this inverter that at the fundamental frequency 50 Hz is very bad. This one, which is running at 45% load, they're both running at 45% load, is, is fundamentally much better. This inverter has many other advantages. 
it has a variable speed fan. So as the power changes, so the fan goes up with variable speed. This one has a fixed speed fan. This unit can also be switched to 50 or 60 hertz. This one also has, has power saving mode such that this, this blue unit here, the high power unit, will also have a power saving mode such that it will measure the power every three seconds so that it will only switch on if the power is, is sensed and that means it will have a lower power consumption. It has a better power saving mode than this one which senses the frequency every one second. This unit here has also the ability to be able to automatically switch on from a generator. So as soon as the battery voltage goes down it will, also, it will turn on a relay which will then automatically switch on the generator. This inverter here does not have that function. Both inverters are able to work as chargers, so they both have charging features. This one, this particular unit here, has a, a, a two bandwidth voltage range, so that if the voltage is very narrow, you can switch it for a narrow voltage range for it to sense, or if the voltage range wants to be very wide, this unit here, the high power unit, has a switch capable of being able to do that to sense the AC voltage during charging.